been a busy women's team camp the last few weeks, Aoife Mannion spoke about inspiring the next generation. To actually have that opportunity to sort of spend a few minutes where it's like, you know, it, it, uh, be around them, it was really nice. Katie Zellan celebrated her 150th cap for the club. I guess practice makes perfect. Um, the saying's not long, you have to keep practicing something. Ella and Jade went head to head in ghetto. We've got quite a few loud people though, haven't we? We do. We do. Val and Talise Joyce joined us on the Team Viewer Diaries sofa. Yeah, I was excited and I was excited to get on the phone with my mom to let her know to, to watch the game. May Letizia spoke about her teammates in On Target. I think Mary has a lot of superstitions yeah. or she has her routine. Hannah Blundell spoke about her contract extension. I could see that the girls were probably more happy for me than I was myself. Plus, there are matches, trading and awards to catch up on. We managed to get a load of um, girls from a particular school down to Carrington um, and then all of the girls as in our girls the team um, when we were finished with the day we managed to like nip in go over say hello get involved for a minute or two and we were also we didn't need all of our training kit because we were it was right at the end of the season so we were like able to give that to them as well so <clears throat> to actually have that opportunity to sort of spend a few minutes where it's like you know, it, it, uh, be around them, it was really nice. Uh, sloppy goals, first half. I thought we started the game well. I thought we were on the front foot. Um, we can see the goal where it's lack of concentration, it's something we have to fix. Um, the second goal is just a crazy situation where she, we're clearing it head, she heads it, it goes straight to her head to in, and then obviously the penalty. Um, after that, coming at half-time, the players were angry with themselves and, and they wanted to go out and show a better, better representation of who we are in the second half. We did that. Um, so all in all, we, we can't concede those types of goals at the end. It's an expect to win. And look, we want to push, we want to push for titles, but you have to learn from games like this because last year we had this fantastic experience. We've got to learn from that and the one today and put it into our future performances. It's going to be Katie Zellum. It's magnificent! Manchester United's first ever goal against Manchester City is a cracker. Set pieces in general is always something that I've worked on uh, since I was little. My dad would have me on the field, we'd be practicing free kicks, corners, whatever it may be. So I guess practice makes perfect. Um, the saying's not wrong, you have to keep practicing something. Maybe Katie Zellum to step up. And to slide it in, brought up through the United system. Her first professional goal for the club will mean an awful lot. For me, I enjoy the pressure of taking the penalty. I enjoy the mind games of if they know where I'm going, what I'm going to do. So I think it's about embracing that. And if you can, you've got every chance to score. That's not a good question, Ella. We don't have all day. No, we don't. I, I do want to go home. But I also want to win. I also want to win. Guess who, Jade? So. Alright, lay on me. I'm I'm doing it, but I'm not thinking about like all of my options here. So I'm gonna just go with. Does my player? Has my player got the teeth out on the photo? Yes. Right. Oh. <laughs> Only knocked two down. Got it. I think if you ask most goalkeepers when something like that happens, we just don't remember. <laughs> like, just it's very, very in the moment. I didn't know that I shoved a girl, yeeted her across the field <laughs> until afterwards when I had Rachel Williams showing me the clip. I was like, oh, Rachel's a fan of that also. She's our physical player. But, um, but yeah, it was, it was nice to see you afterwards. So in that moment, I'm just zoned in and trying to do the best I can for the team.
I think Mary has a lot of superstitions, yeah. or she has her routine. Yeah. Don't mess with her routine. <laughs> um, yeah, she always has her earphones in. Yeah, God knows what she's listening to, but yeah, she seems to always do everything um, like that. But um, yeah, she seems to obviously her process works right now. That goal she scored is her 50th in the WSL. She's only the 10th player to do that. Yeah. See, exactly, there's positives you've got to take from the game. And again, we should have won, we didn't. we didn't. We didn't lose. So we've got to think, like, it's not the worst case scenario. So we just have to go next week. Obviously, it's a big game next week. Again, every game's a big game, and I'm I know my team, and we'll turn it around. And here is last day of the season. You were voted Players' Player of the Year. It's always kind of that extra special when it's your players and your teammates that are voted for you. Yeah, hundred percent. Obviously, they see you day in, day out. They see what you do off the training pitch, on the training pitch. Um, so for me, it was a surprise. Um, I think for me, obviously, I'm a player that kind of, I stay in the background, I don't really, I'm not really at the front of sort of awards or anything like that. So for me to be voted that, like you said, especially by the players, it really meant a lot to me. And I could see that the girls were probably more happy for me than I was myself. Zellum's going to get the cross back into the box towards the back post. That's a great header. Millie Turner. Mallard's going to slide this through to Nikita Paris, and it's 2-0 Manchester United. Slid through, beat the press, Manchester United, slot home. Ella Toon into the penalty area, back to Mallard. Mallard with the touch, and it's turned home by Luthia Garcia. And then Nelson with the effort, what an effort that is from Lisa Nelson. Last home, right-footed, 4-0, job done. United with one and three-quarter feet in the FA Cup semi-final. Big dog, clean sheet, through to the next round.